Good morning. How widely was Jeremiah to publish the tidings that God had given him? We're at Jeremiah chapter 11, first eight verses. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Cursed is the man who does not obey the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day I brought them out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do according to all that I command you, so shall you be my people, and I will be your God, that I may establish the oath which I have sworn to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. And I answered and said, So be it, Lord. Then the Lord said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly exhorted your fathers in the day I brought them up out of the land of Egypt until this day, rising early and exhorting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but every one followed the dictates of his own evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all of the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but which they have not done. Wish we didn't have the last part in there. Wish that it was a report of faithful covenant keeping. But no, they have not done them. So God widens Jeremiah's mission. He's not only to do the warnings as he's been doing in the gates of Jerusalem, but now he's to uh, give those warnings across the cities of Judah as well. So he's going to go from city to city and proclaim these warnings. Now, there's no new light here. This is all truth that God has given to his people before, and they've slipped away from it. They've backslidden and gone away from it. There's a covenant complete with blessings and cursings. You can read about some of that in Deuteronomy 27 and 28, those two chapters. God received them as his people, and they promised to obey him. But as yet, there's been little obedience, and the people keep slipping away. They've become, in their own perception, more advanced. They feel like they've passed on from infancy to some kind of adulthood. And now they think, well, we'll just obey him kind of in a nuanced way. And even that, if they do that, they'll do it sort of not as a love response, but as a concession. So there's a problem of spirit here. They'll worship the God of heaven, but they'll share their allegiance with all these other pagan deities. These new gods may be a little bit more attuned to the times, so they've been led to think. It seems like it's kind of a trait of fallen humans that we, we indulge ourselves in this idea that we're, we're kind of always on this big progression. We're always moving on to something way much bigger and higher. We're always advancing and getting smarter and wiser. We are engaged in this relentless progress. It's inevitable. But if we knew ourselves better, we'd realize that more often than not, we're actually going backwards. We're actually in decline spiritually. We're degenerating instead of going forward. He's so merciful, he sends his prophet and just has him repeat the words they've already agreed to. Have we, in one respect or another, gone backwards instead of forwards? And this question, is there a point where you or I have backslidden that today we can turn back to Jesus and go closer to him on? Something to think on today. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, you sent your servant Jeremiah the prophet out into the cities of Judah to give this message. It wasn't heard in the big city in Jerusalem. It wasn't heard in the capital or in the place where the temple was. It was very poorly heard there. But the message was still for all the people, and so you sent your servant to deliver that message. Lord, help us to be faithful. Help us to hear your message at your mouth. Help us to respond to it and be obedient. Help us to understand that obedience is not an evil thing or a bad thing. Obedience, in the case here for the kingdom of Judah, was part of the covenant, and they're not doing it. Please, Lord, help us to be repentant. Help us to be turning closer to you. And Lord, if there's anything where we have backslidden, a uh, special point you were, have convinced us of and you need to convince us of again, please do so that we may return to the foot of the cross, Lord, and say yes to Jesus even today yet again. Lord, we thank you for hearing this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So Jeremiah was to faithfully deliver that warning and urge the people to repent all across the kingdoms of Judah before the judgment came, before the judgment was executed upon them and the nation came in from the north to attack. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.